I am your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. One of the greatest tragedies that has befallen Nigeria and Africans is this hope capital, according to Marcus Ekure, hope capital. When the politicians come with a lot of hope capital, with very little reality. You will have realized as a Nigerian that recently the word that you are hearing is palliative. And people are sharing palliatives. I had to go and look at the word palliative again because I know what palliative therapy is. Palliative therapy is if somebody has cancer a terminal illness. You give the person pain, powerful painkillers like morphine, tramadol, even cocaine in those days to kill the pain, to give the person a pain-free transition and euphoria. Nigeria as a country has an economic cancer, malignant one, that if we don't take care, will cripple us. Argentina has not recovered from the economic collapse of years back. Zimbabwe has not recovered from the economic collapse that Mugabe caused. And so we are, they are giving us palliatives, palliative treatment and hope capital. And you see, when you want to delude people, you make them sing a slogan. When subsidy was removed, this brought palliatives. I want to ask you a simple question. The total amount of money spent on palliatives is enough to build a new refinery. Now, workers are agitating for salary increase. If there's an increase in salary, there's going to be increased purchasing power, lots of money chasing fewer goods, because we are not even producing. Companies that are producing are leaving us. Nearly everything is imported. So when we, because we are a consuming nation. And I remember when award salary increases came, Udoji award, Nigerians went on spending free, spree, the workers. Inflation is going to increase. As inflation will increase, at the same time, because of low returns from oil, low returns from IGRO, low returns from foreign direct investment, salaries will be owed. Another agitation will start. That is the quagmire we find ourselves going around in cycles. Today, this should be June 2nd. I've started receiving messages from ATM prophets. This sixth month is this. June is J for this. E, uh, U for this. N for this. Who are you trying to deceive? Have you helped yourself? Then you are prophesying to me. You will hear people, they, they, maybe the night before June 1st, they didn't sleep. Uh, this, this next month, they are doing this. That was how they said in January, you are going to sing a new song, 2024. It's an um, old national anthem they brought for us. That's the new song we are singing now. Africans in politics, in religion, we are just giving people palliatives, prophecies and promises without telling people processes, principles, procedures for productivity and promotion. You see the peace? You listening to me, sit down. Think about your life. Think about where you have gone wrong. Think about what you have done right. Think about what you need to do right to go to the next level. Don't listen to these people singing and there is no, this set of politicians in all the political parties do not have the mental capacity. Only one or two of them do not have the mental, uh, there are exceptions. They do not have the mental capacity. They do not have the will to change this nation. Sad.
Don't be carried away by hope capital and palliatives. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. On the 7th and on the 8th of June, I'm going to share some deep mysteries with you of how to become a man of value and high net worth. 7th and on the 8th, it is an online seminar. Send a message to me on plus 234 7052136763 and I will share the flyer to you. God bless you. Remember, I have properties for sale. I'm the area grandfather, Dr. Charles R. Pokey.